Can anyone tell me why my motors are soldered during the flight? ESC burned out once, second time the flight controller burned out. Third time, I'm afraid to fly. Um, thank you for your super chat. Unfortunately, this is going to be very difficult to troubleshoot just based on, like, literally, if we were there and you handed me the quad, I still might not 100% be able to tell you why it happened. Especially because after things burn out, a lot of the evidence is destroyed. Um, like, for here's what's really weird about this. If you said you burned your motors and then you burned your ESC, like, okay, uh, maybe your motor screws are too long and your motor screws are touching the windings and they are uh, burning out your motors and your ESC and you, you need to use shorter motor screws, right? That's a thing that people do. Um, but how did you burn your flight controller? Like, that's a weird one. That's a weird one. Because anything that burns the ESC, the flight controller usually will just be sitting there going, mm, okay, I'm fine. It takes some talent to burn the flight controller. If, if, if I was looking at your quadcopter, I would be looking for soldering mistakes. Like the first thing I would do if we were troubleshooting this is I'd ask to see a picture of your solder, of your of your build, and I would look at the quality of your solder joints. And if it just looks like you are very inexperienced at soldering, I would guess that that relates to the problem. But um, unfortunately, I, I really can't diagnose this without more information. Uh, but that's the first thing I would check would be the solder joints. Aver the Ham suggests you've reversed the polarity of your plug header. Yeah, but it's flying. He was able to fly. So it's not something simple like a miswire. It would just fry as soon as he plugged the battery in. 